Hi, this is Vitaly with AFT Dispatch. Today I wanted to make a quick video to you guys about LTL equipment um, in terms of hot shots and some of the smaller uh, you know, equipment that's out there. You know, I get a lot of phone calls that come in uh, for dispatch services asking to be dispatched uh, and, and people are frantic saying, I can't find any loads. The loads that I'm finding are, you know, uh, don't pay well. They're uh, either, you know, too heavy or too long or too tall or, they, you know, there's all kinds of issues. And I always tell people the same thing. You know, when we started our business, uh, American Freight Trucking Inc. in Salt Lake City, we started with a 26-foot box truck. It was a Ford F650 uh, straight truck uh, with a Maxon lift gate and e-track. And, uh, you know, it was a fun truck to drive, but not a fun business to run. Um, and uh, we came very close to basically failing in business. And the only reason that we survived those years was because we found private clients around town here to deliver for. Uh, and uh, we were very close uh, by to we were close by to a few different uh, warehouses that we were working with. And you know, as soon as they called me, I got on the truck and I was there. My brother, he jumped in a truck. He was there. And, uh, you know, we made sure to basically do what was asked of us and uh, do it quickly and be available. And uh, we charged by the hour and over the years, uh, you know, as we were able to make enough money to buy ourselves a first used semi truck, a, a first used uh, dry van that we bought. And, uh, you know, we, we slowly ramped up and, you know, now we run, you know, new trucks and new trailers and we run reefers now. And, uh, you know, now I have this uh, dispatch division and, you know, life is a lot better and the business is a lot uh, easier. But uh, part of it is also experience, right? So we've learned from that experience. And so I relay this information to the new carriers that are, you know, brand new MCs. Uh, they run out there, they get themselves, uh, you know, 3500s, uh, you know, F350s, you know, 450s, 550s, uh, different types of uh, diesel trucks and some of them even gassers. And uh, then they call and they, they, where's the money? You know, I was told there's so much money and there's uh, so many loads and etc etc and so i explained to these guys that there isn't you know that part of the business hasn't been developed as well as the ftl business the full truckload business and uh we, and i asked them you know i urged them to look at their operating costs right uh look at your operating costs yes you're gonna have better fuel economy on say a ford f650 or a 550 or something along the, along those lines sure it's going to be cheaper to insure uh, sure, it's going to be, uh, you know, you don't, it doesn't require a class, uh, you know, class A CDL license. Um, and that's about it, right? But here's the thing. Insurance, you're still going to be required as a carrier to have your $750,000 general liability policy. Um, uh, and uh, you're still going to have to have auto coverage. You're still going to have to have cargo coverage. You're still going to have to have... Um, freight to move around right you're still going to have to pay for diesel and those trucks aren't going to give you much better uh fuel economy than the new semi trucks that are out there i mean the new the new freight liners they're given you know seven eight eight plus miles per gallon depending on how you drive some guys have been you know really good at feathering the throttle and uh you know really taking advantage of the new transmissions and uh doing a lot of e-coast and uh they're getting oh, up there you know a nine ten miles per gallon and higher so there, there are some, you know, some big trucks. Once you load them up, um, like the, you know, big Fords or big GMCs or Chevys and Dodges, that they don't even get that kind of mileage when they're fully loaded. But here's the problem: you're going to pay about the same on fuel. You're going to pay about the same on insurance. But the rates and the freight availability is very limited. I mean, these guys are running, you know, ninety cent dollar freight, dollar ten seventy five cents a mile. They get stuck half the time. You have the inconvenience of having to have a tiny little sleeper berth that you have to install, which is extra money, or sleeping in hotels. You lose time, you lose money, and you lose your nerves while you know running around and not being able to uh, find loads. It's also not profitable for us as a dispatch company because my guys have to spend the entire day finding you a load uh, and make a you know thirty forty dollar commission that doesn't you know even keep the lights on right so that's the reason why you're not finding too many uh, dispatchers who are willing to work I'd rather you know have my guys you know dispatch out a ten thousand dollar load and you know that'll pay us seven hundred dollars 
uh, Mike, that you guys will give us enough time because you'll be on the road to to line up some more business for you guys for backhauls and things like that. And uh, that way, uh, our you know carriers that work with us make a lot more money. Uh, LTLs, hot shots, uh, you know the the guys with RGNs and flat betters and you know the car haulers that are that are hauling three four cars at a time. Uh, I mean that's a whole different business too. I mean you ever pay attention? Like you ever notice that there are no car hauling trailer types on any of the load boards? You want you know why that is? Um, it's it's a totally different business, and there is a load board out there that only focuses on car hauling, but uh, but you won't find it on Dats or Truck Stop or One Two Three or any of those uh, load boards. So that's that's the point, you know, that a lot of guys don't do their due diligence, they don't do uh, their market research. They usually the way it works is someone said that you could make a lot of money on this. People think it's easy. Hey, well, I'm just gonna load up some stuff. I'm going to go head over there. I'll pick up another load. It sounds romantic, uh, but it doesn't work that way. And you went into business to make money, not, not run around and you know waste your time and be frustrated. And that's ultimately what happens. And that's the reason that, uh, that I get a lot of phone calls and we don't work with any of those guys. Now, in the future, we may open up you know, a division for LTLs and hot shots and things like that, but probably not. it's going to be in a distant future. And uh, I, I don't foresee that coming up anytime soon. But just a heads up, do your research, count your, uh, your expenses, actually look at the market, and then break everything down. I mean, I'm talking break everything down, all your costs, not just the big, you know, the big diesel insurance and tr uh, truck and trailer costs. Break everything down. Break it down into per mile basis. Then Look at what's available on the market. What's the best rate you're going to be able to get? Are you going to go to an area and then get stuck out of there and have to deadhead out four or five hundred miles? Or are you going to have to be stuck there for three, four days finding something that's only going to pay you 90 cents? Because that often is what happens. Unless you have private clients, you're going to be have you're going to have a very difficult time surviving in this business, and especially as a new carrier. So I highly, highly suggest and highly recommend that you take a look at your business model, do your research. And, uh, and then jump in, if jump in at all. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. You guys can get a lot more information about our truck load, uh, about our uh, truck dispatch service uh, at aftdispatch.com. You can also uh, call us at 801-448-6363. My name is Vitaly. You can ask to speak with me or any of our other guys can help you out. And uh, I'm at extension one. Uh, in fact, all the guys that can talk to you guys about our dispatch services are extension one. And, uh, and our, our, uh, you can actually get a lot more information on our website, aftdispatch.com slash YouTube, for example. If you go there, you can get an idea of what we're talking about in terms of, uh, uh, in terms of our dispatch services. And very soon, probably around the time that, uh, you know, a few weeks after you see this video uh, that it's posted, we'll be leasing on new carriers because of, we have a very exciting partnership with another uh, company that we work with. So we'll be leasing on carriers and our uh, approach to pricing it is actually very interesting. And uh, we found that it, it's going to save a lot of money to owner operators who want to lease on to another company's MC. And uh, we'll also have, of course, uh, dispatch services from AFT Dispatch fulfilling those orders for you. So get that information. You you know, we're going to update a lot of stuff on our website. So you'll be able to actually get um, uh, get to the to a page that will you know direct you one way or another way so if you have an mc number you can get set up with us uh through dispatch services which is seven percent of line hall and if you don't have an mc but you do have uh you know full-size trucks um then uh you know then you can get set up with us uh to be a owner operator and lease on under us for 12 percent uh and so if you have questions, again, call me 801-448-6363 or on our website at aftdispatch.com. Thanks for your time, you guys. Have a good day.